Today's video is spicy. Why don't most hackers use Windows? Now, before my Windows friends come for me in the comments and say, yes, some hackers absolutely use Windows. Seriously, no hate. But let's be real. When you picture those hoodie-wearing, terminal-twerking keyboard wizards, 90% of them, they're vibing on Linux. So, what's the deal? Why the massive preference? Now, let's talk about Windows command line, or as I call it, the digital equivalent of riding a bike with square wheels. For hackers, PowerShell tries to be helpful like that one overeager intern, but it's no match for Bash, the Swiss army knife of terminals. Need to scan a network? On Linux, nmap 192.168.1, and done. For Windows, you're wrestling with prehistoric cmd.x, where even copying text feels like negotiating with a sugar crash toddler. It's where productivity goes to die a slow, painful death. Windows is basically a digital black box for hackers. Imagine trying to fix a car, but the hood's welded shut and the manual's written in emojis. That's Windows. Everything's hidden. Proprietary code, locked down guts. Hackers need to see how things tick to ethically break them but Windows treats its internals like state secrets. Meanwhile, Linux is like an open-source Lego set. You can tweak the kernel, the OS's brain, rip out parts, or rebuild it mid-flight. Windows? You get a pre-assembled dollhouse. Pretty, but try moving a wall and it collapses. That's why using Windows for hacking feels like diffusing a bomb with oven mitts. Technically possible, but you'll sweat bullets and question your life choices. Let's address the elephant in the server room. Windows security is like painting a neon shoot me sign on your PC. It's the McMansion of operating systems. Big, flashy, and everyone knows where the vulnerabilities are. With 1.4 billion users, it's a target-rich environment where attackers hunt like it's Black Friday. Even updates play Russian roulette. Patch Tuesday might fix critical holes or nuke your Python setup. Meanwhile, Linux is like a fortress built by thousands of paranoid nerds eyeballing every line of code. Bugs get patched faster than you can say zero day. Bottom line, running Windows for hacking is like dodging bullets in the matrix while screaming your IP address in a cyberpunk alley. Not stealthy. Imagine Metasploit, Wireshark, and Nmap, the holy trinity of hacking tools, showing up to a Windows party handcuffed and gagged. Sure, they technically run on Windows, but they fight you like feral raccoons in a pillowcase. On Linux, they're first-class citizens. Pseudo apt install Kali tools full and you're hacking before the coffee brews. But Windows? You'll spend hours googling cryptic DLL errors while your terminal mocks you with access denied. That's why smart hackers use WSL. It's basically smuggling Linux into Windows like a USB drive full of contraband binaries. Still, it's like doing open heart surgery with oven mitts. Possible, but why torture yourself? Finally, let's talk customization. Where Windows treats your desktop like a beige rental apartment where you can't even change the doorknobs without permission. You get light mode, dark mode, and that's it. But Linux? Oh baby, it's a hacker's digital playground. You can turn your OS into a cyberpunk rainforest with terminal parrots, build a workflow that responds to your brainwaves, or even make your boot screen display ASCII art of a T-Rex eating Windows logos. Window managers, keybinds, GPU pass-through? It's all yours to mold, because real hackers need tools that bend to their will, not some corporate designer's idea of friendly. Trying to customize Windows is like rearranging furniture in a hotel room, mildly satisfying until security shows up asking why you unscrewed the ceiling tiles. 